So I promised y'all I'd show you what I eat every single day. And of course that includes supplements. Now, Katie's cracking eggs, if you're wondering what that sound is. Here in the shake, I'm putting machine greens, barracuda, nectar, and a little bit of, actually, no, I don't need it. Machine greens, barracuda, and nectar. So here's that. Nectar, nectar is the greatest supplement ever for overall health, organ health, you name it. It's just an amazing supplement. So always rock out some of that every day with machine greens. Overall health, I stay pretty damn healthy and I, I do think that plays a role. And barracuda, that's why Katie walks with a limp. No laugh, no kidding? Oh, good. Just wondering, I'm, I thought I was losing it for a second. And shake this up. Sometimes I'll put machine fuel in there, but with, with nectar, get a good amount of flavor. And again, every morning, my recommendation, we have a filter at our house, reverse osmosis, gets rid of all the fluoride. I don't understand why the government puts fluoride in our water, it kind of upsets me. Um, but, 32 ounce cyclone cup, we have these at Tiger Fitness. Drink, there, drink about 24 to 30 ounces of water. Three insurgent caps, Mail health, free test, health benefits. Fish oil, you want three total grams of combined EPA, DHA a day. Okay, so that would be five at the Tech Nutrition Fish Oil. See, I, I watched that going down. You know why? Because these, these magically blend in with hardwood. Throwing this in for your himbine, mayo health. Since we're training a little bit, it helps target that hard to reach fat areas, so to speak. Serogen, you guys have seen my video on this. Serogen is the ultimate supplement for not only anti-aging, but also overall brain health, memory, learning, cognition. This is the most amazing supplement, period. Serogen, for overall health and anti-aging benefits. Peak Physicor, two of these. And you guys might not see all of MTS supplements here, and chances are I will take them here and there, but um, you know, it'd be a long morning if I took everything I make. <laughs> That's just about everything. It is. It's every, It's a lot of the stuff I recommend. Drop factor comes later in the day since we train in the morning. I take um, I take Clash before training. I do take my four muscle jewels now. And allergies are crazy this year. I usually don't need it. I get what I need from local honey, but this year I'm throwing in a Zyrtec just to uh, keep allergies at bay. Um, allergies suck, and the Midwest has been crazy. We didn't have a great winter, so nothing froze over, so it is completely... It was a good winter, because it wasn't as cold, but then you suffer in the spring. Except for when mosquitoes come out, and they start biting the shit out of us. Yeah, that's true. So, um, on to breakfast. Here's what we have going on. So I'm gonna show you what I make. I get three eggs over hard. Katie, is that two eggs scrambled? Yeah. So I have three eggs over hard, some uh, guacamole, or avocado, whatever you want to say. I just, the guacamole from Costco is delicious. And um, then I put in a wrap. I'll show you all this. So this is like one of those Food Network videos where you just see hands. So anyway, that's how the guacamole looks from Costco. See what I'm saying? It's like, there's three, it's a three pack. And I would show you what the container looks like, but then I have to go to the basement and get it. That, that ish is far. So, what I do is I guesstimate. I take about yay amount of guacamole, put it on the tortilla. Now these are the angelic sprouted grain tortillas. There's 20 grams of carbs each. The fat adds about five to 10 grams, probably five. And the, uh, the eggs have about 15 grams of fat. There's three whole eggs. So a decently high fat breakfast. I can't eat a lot for breakfast. By the time I get the 32 ounces of liquid in me, um, by the time I, you know, just, and I wake up, my stomach's tiny. I mean, my stomach is completely just, there's nothing in there. It's flat. There's no GH gut, fellas. So, so anyway, so I put the egg on top, like so. That's beautiful, isn't it? And then I take some sea salt. People always ask me, you know, 
oh, you know, so what do I do? I'm cramping this and that. The reason you're cramping is because you've fallen for that crap that sodium's bad for you. Sodium's great for you. In fact, most studies are pointing, the new studies are pointing to four plus grams per day for healthy individuals. So here's what I do. Now, this is the most delicious thing ever. Okay, watch this. Okay. So here's what I do. I take the tortilla and I fold it. But I usually don't stand here. Whoa, there's a lot of butt going on here. So I make a taco. Even though it's not Tuesday, we'll call this Taco Tuesday. Mm. And by far, my favorite meal ever. 20 grams of carbs. There's a lot of butt action going on. I'm trying to get about my booty 20, <laughs> You're sticking your booty up. About, 20, about 25 grams of protein, about 20 grams of carbs, and the fat's about 20 grams. And this is just a delicious breakfast. So we always have coffee in the morning. Now for my creamer, I use this MTS Way birthday cake and that their coconut milk. And I make it into a little shaker. And that's our creamer. And it is absolutely delicious. Tastes good as any store-bought creamer. But that's the creamer I use in my coffee. How much do I use? People ask questions that are very specific. So I just want to be completely concise. Not that you should eat exactly what I eat, but you take it. And uh, like that. And then like like that. And that that's about it. So it's about, yeah, not even a quarter cup. Probably a sixth. But, um, but yeah, so that's an idea for creamer. Because coconut milk... Again, high in MCTs, healthy fats. Put a little protons in there. Adds what? Two grams of protein, but it just adds a whole new dimension to your coffee. Top it with this. Oh, and top of whipped cream. But uh, just a little schwitz. And uh, as far as as far as uh, Splenda goes, I do use a lot of Splenda. People ask what kind of sweetener. Usually in a coffee and a cup, cup of coffee. See, look, I got the Mondo mug. Oh, your brother here. should be here with the dogs. Okay, a coffee cup like that, I'll use five to six Splenda. I like it sweet tablespoon of honey now I have carb time pre-workout a lot but local honey I don't even have the label on this we get local honey it has to be within 100 miles of your house I actually have an article on this on the Tiger Fitness website the benefits of local honey are, are profound but think about it bees pollinate and pollen is what you're allergic to so basically by taking in micro doses it's great also there's a lot of health benefits to honey um, and since it's fructose it's a very slow burning carbohydrate in your body. So I get my tablespoon of honey sometimes in before training. I just take this alone, pop a tablespoon down and I'm good to go. So this is what I'm having. Also pre-workout, this is Clash and Vasky. Scoop of Clash, scoop of Vasky, pretty simple. On the bottom is two scoops over training solution and machine whey, one scoop of that. And post-workout, since we're going to our counseling session today, I have a banana instead of carb 10 to fill me up a little bit more so I can make it through there and then eat afterwards. So 25 grams of protein, about 25 carbs for the banana post-workout. We just got through training and uh, that was a good workout. It was a great workout. That was, was a really shoulders. good workout. Yeah, we got, my pump was unreal, man. That clash, Vasky, it still gets me every time. So um, so what, what's going on today? We're gonna show you all the dog park. We got my brother's dog in town. Have a fun time with that. We're also gonna be, you know, I have work. I normally don't vlog my work day because who the fuck wants to see me type <laughs> and research and development. My job is really not you as fun as people. film it and then put it on like the super fast mode. Like my <laughs> job is really not as fun as people think it is. Yeah. You know, my job is really, really, really boring. But anyway, so what we're gonna do now, we have our counseling session, which we still go to occasionally. Um, just to, you know, And I just got a call from the doctor basically to get another opinion on what I'm feeling. Um, and it's possibly scar tissue that I'm feeling, but they still want me to be seen. And since it's not urgent, everything's fine, it can wait till June. So I'll have a follow-up appointment. Um, in Later June tonight, I'll be feeling them. So you guys are watching my eating vlog. I just had, uh, just had my overtraining solutions and MTS weigh in here. Ate a banana. So that's my post-workout meal. So, so far I had the egg, egg thing and the wrap. I have my pre-workout honey. And this, and this will last me till we get home at around 12.20 where I'll have an actual meal. So we're gonna go get our, uh, get our therapy on. So we're back from therapy. Uh, so anyway, I made these sweet potatoes yesterday. You basically cut your sweet potatoes. These are organic so you can't eat the skin. Cook them for about, I'd say I cooked it for 40 minutes on about 400 degrees. In, in the our toaster, toaster oven thing. So it might be longer, but I like them nice and soft and crispy. So I put two on top. 
How many grams of carbs is this? Well, judging by the size of these, I'm guessing we got about 20, 25. This is one scoop of MTS Nutrition Machine Whey Cookies and Cream with the baking powder, the 30 second brownie. If you type in 30 second MTS brownie, it'll have it on how to cook that. And this is cookies and cream and baking powder, that's it. And then a little bit of, uh, a little bit of almond milk for the moisture. So make that into a brownie. So, so then, oh fuck it. So then. <laughs> that was hot. <laughs> top it with whipped cream. Okay, that looks like. Boobs, a I don't know. Balls. No, it doesn't. This looks like a penis. For me, it would go. It looks like boobs with whipped cream. Oh my God, you did not just see that, you idiot. It's gotta be wider, but I don't wanna waste whipped cream. Anyway, so then. You, you're gonna eat that. This is my meal. Will you stop licking everything? <laughs> You've never said that before. <laughs> anyway, so um, this is me. Made a mess. <laughs> this is my post post workout meal. Are you done talking? Yeah. Okay. So here's my lunch. This is about five ounces of meat. I don't go crazy, but we got this marinated garlic and chip. Mm. It's um, what's the restaurant? Red Robin seasoning, salt, and garlic. It's really good. Granulated garlic. We bought organic chicken this time from Costco. I think it tastes better. The sweet potato from earlier we got going on here, so good, and then some broccoli that we bake in the oven. So. Pretty much leftovers. I mean, that's what Americans used to call their food leftovers. Bodybuilders call it meal prep. Look at that pile of chicken. Nice. See, bodybuilders, see, bodybuilders are like, oh, meal prep. They think putting their food in Tupperware makes them hardcore. No, it just makes them uncivilized. So I'm gonna sit down and eat like a freaking human being. All right, so before I go, I don't like protein bars. I just don't until we come out with our cookie cakes. Got a scoop of MTS whey in here, okay? Some baking powder, the 30 second brownie again. Boom, Tupperware to go. Put it in for about, I like it a little bit harder when I go, 32 seconds. The banana requires a little bit. So I use almond milk, milk uh, probably I'd say about 15 calories worth of almond milk. Banana, scoop of protein, it's about 25 protein, about 25 carbs, and about three grams of fat from here. So I mean, total of about five grams of fat. Good to go, that's my to-go meal when we go to the dog park. So we're loading in. Kizzy's already in the car. I don't know if my brothers are taking her to a dog park. They're not really dog park people. I mean, we have yards and stuff, but like dogs running around with other dogs. It's a pretty awesome thing. Talk. Ruckus, come on. Go, Cammy. Look at Cammy looking all white. Come on, baby. Stop. All right. Let's roll. Kizzy's an older, more distinguished girl. She goes straight for the crotch sniff. <laughs> Look at him. I don't, I don't know if she's ever been to a dog park. Ruckus having his fun. Oh, look, look. Oh, there you go. Look at him. Open up, bro. Yeah, that's a pee. That's a pee. No, they have bags too, right there. See? There he goes. Look at that. Open it up. Oh, look. Everybody, everybody wants a piece of ruckus. Ruckus all about them open field gains. There you go. So here's the next meal. It's about six ounces of chicken and broccoli. Pretty simple. I can't, I want to get my greens in this meal, right? But I can't fit any more food in my surgically repaired stomach. <laughs> so this is about all we get here. Pretty simple. He's lying to you. He wears a waist trainer. I do. And a sweat, a sweat suit. Those yes. uh, rubber sweat suits. Mm -hmm. Look at this spread here. Leftover. This is Ruckus. And we met Spicoli at the dog park. Spicoli is Ruckus's brother, but he came from the litter um, the year prior. Look, Kelly, it's your babies. <laughs> Spicoli is like 62 pounds. <laughs> and that's Kizzy. She's a doodle. Normally, part of being a dad is being able to eat after your kids don't finish their food and not telling anyone about it. But since I under eat anyway, you guys probably think I eat like a small child or and a girl. It's healthy ground bison. Ground bison. Not like mac and cheese or something that you wouldn't eat. Ground bison. Bison. So I'm gonna just eat this down. This is probably two ounces, if, if that. Ounce and a half. And that's my dinner. So the order of bed. Thomas is in bed first. Thomas would go to bed at friggin' five if we let him. Okay, once he hits the pillow. Once he like, hits the pillow, he's, he's got like out. 30 seconds to say goodnight. Pressing to is a bit more. Difficult. So difficult to get to bed. And Katie needs to go to bed too. <laughs> so after we get the kids to bed, we go in the infrared sauna. Kind of recap our day and uh, go over some work stuff and then. It's like almost 9 15. 
Cammy just finished practicing the piano, and we're making her go to bed too. The dog park was cool though. That was that was a good choice. That's yeah. So choice. did you video any of Ruckus meeting his brother? Yeah. No, I didn't. I've got that video. All right. Well, I'm gonna get these kids to bed. This is. Uh, this is... Oh, he has a pillow. Yeah. Good night, Ruckus. Uh, what's your name? Ruckus. Good night, Ruckus. It's not a nightly infrared sun. I don't know. I'll tell you what. I sleep like a baby. And I sweat like a motherfucker in this thing, man. Like, it's starting to beat up. Been in here like eight minutes. It's 130 degrees. This is degrees. the most quiet you've ever talked in your life. Why am I talking quiet? <laughs> There's nobody who can fucking hear us. We're downstairs hey, in the basement. Watch where you put that camera. All they see is a shoulder. <laughs> so anyway, so, yeah, this is kind of how... I'm glad we got this thing. I got to tell you, I felt a lot better. Um, it also helps regulate a lot of things like electrolytes. It's just a great thing. It's rid of heavy metals and toxins in your body. And the infrared also penetrates your muscles, so, uh, helps with recovery. But I've definitely felt a difference. And I'll be doing an article on this soon. I had a couple other articles I had to knock out this week, though. There we go. That looks, that looks swimmingly awesome. Swimmingly. Swimmingly awesome. Anyway, my last meal is pretty simple. A scoop of MTS. Well, you might be saying a scoop. You're such a girl. Dude weighs 240 pounds. By the way, Katie, say hi. Hi, and I'm a hot Oh. Girls. Yeah, but that's what makes you great is that unlike other girls on Instagram and YouTube. They're a real wrinkled look. That, well, that was scary. You look like the old guy from the movie, yeah. So anyway, yeah, this one scoop of MTS whey, some strawberries on top, and put some whipped cream. Now, you might look and say my macros are extremely insufficient for someone at 240 pounds. And up till about three days ago, I was eating probably an extra 100 to 150 grams of fat from cashews and from other nuts and seeds and things like that. And honestly, it was hard to get down all that food for me, but nuts are so calorically dense. Now, you all might not remember, but I had my abs. This is all screws underneath the muscle here. Okay, here's the muscle. Underneath this. Can you demonstrate how? Hold on. Underneath this. So. Watch yeah, this. It, it, it's, it's, it, this is the Gore-Tex. So like I have 40 titanium screws around here holding in Gore-Tex. So my abs aren't as, they look different than they used to look, but they're my abs. Or at least they're part of my abs. Um, so ever since I had that put in, I can't fit enough food in. Now you might say, how do you maintain the weight at those calories? I can eat more calories and I don't really gain weight, but it just seems like I hang between 230 and 240 no matter what I do. You guys got to realize I've been training for 23 years this year and it just doesn't go away. Will I be able to maintain this weight for much longer with my eating this much food? No. No, I think over time, you know, I'm getting older. I'm 36 years old. You know, my body's going to start, you know, it's not going to keep the muscle. But I think through the hard training I do and the fact that I have such low body fat, it's not like I'm losing fat. My body's just holding on to muscle and it's pretty much adapted to this amount of calories in my eating style. Um, and the reason I don't eat your Pop-Tarts and your processed foods is also since I had the surgery, when I eat anything greasy or fried, it almost causes my intestines to become inflamed, which I could feel it kind of tighten against the, uh, against the screws. I think also since you eat so little per meal, if you were eating Pop-Tarts and whatever, yeah. you wouldn't be getting the nutrients. And I, I want to stay healthy. You know, my, my, this year I had a stuffy nose for our wedding. That was it. I mean, everybody here has been so sick with flus and this and that and sinus infections. You know, I got a little sniffly thing, some sinus thing, but my body recovered. And with the nectar and the machine greens and all the health supplements I take, I know the anti-supplement haters come on here and say, blah, 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 blah. I don't know, man. All I know is that I have scientific studies to prove they're healthy and they make you healthier. And I also have myself. Um, so that's that. So that's a day of eating for me. What am I getting ready for? I figured in the next four weeks, really, I put the comeback on my training video this week and Katie was even like, what the hell are you coming back to? And I'm like, you know, I'm just going to get shredded in the next four weeks. So I have another about three and a half weeks to go. And part of it, honestly, for me, like we were at the dog park today and I had to pee. The porta potty was a good 10 minute walk away. I jog both ways and I'm down to 235 this morning, 240, 
last uh, about four four days ago. And here's the deal, I felt the difference. Like it felt better running. So I'm at the point now where I think at 230, 228, somewhere in there, that's a good fighting weight for me to be able to play with my kids in the summer at. And, and we're going to be going to water parks and we're going to be doing a bunch of really cool stuff. And I don't want to be huffing and puffing or my joints aching going up a water slide. I don't think a lot of you guys who are smaller, who weigh under 200 pounds, I'm not saying, oh, woe is me. But it to be this weight after years of being this weight and years of training and years of, 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 of wear and tear, it's just it's not the most comfortable thing on your joints. So I would rather be 15, 10, 15 pounds lighter, you know, scare children at the water park when I go like, oh, oh, what's this, you know? Just kidding. But, you know, it, 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 I just, I feel like I wanna be 225 to 230 and just feel better. So I'm gonna film these as often as I remember. Um, they're gonna be pretty much the same goddamn thing every time because I eat the same thing. But this is my day. So meal one was my egg avocado wrap. Um, which consisted of about 25 grams of protein, if you don't count the incomplete protein. It consists of, we just looked up the avocado, I get about six grams of fat from that. Six plus the, uh, six plus 15, so you're at about 24 grams of fat, 25 grams of fat total on that um, for, the, for meal one, and then 20 grams of carbs. Then I have my tablespoon of honey, which is 15 grams of carbs. Then a post-workout shake um, is 25 carbs and 25 protein. Um, today I had a banana instead because I had to go longer without food and I wanted to actually chew something. I usually have carb 10, today I had a banana. Then I had the banana with MTS whey with sweet potato, which was about 50 grams of carbs and about 25 grams of protein. Then I had my chicken breast with sweet potatoes. That was about, it was about six, I have about 40 grams of protein and it was about 30 grams of carbs. Um, you notice I didn't add much fat in other than trace from whatever I ate. Um, after that, I had the brownie, which is a scoop of protein, and a banana built in. So that was 25 grams of protein, about 25 to 30 grams of carbs. Then I had dinner, which was the uh, chicken breast with broccoli. It was about 42 grams of protein, let's say five grams of fat, five grams of carbs. And then this meal, which is 25 grams of protein, let's say about five to 10 grams of carbs and fat from the whipped cream. That's all I eat. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoy it. There'll be more coming. Welcome to the channel. Let's get fucking shredded. So I'm looking at my email this morning. I get a mass email from one of the other sites that sell supplements that you're just a number to, right? They were bragging me that one supplement line was free shipping. Bro, if you order over $99 in product in the continental US any day of the week, free shipping anywhere in the US, at continental USA, free shipping on orders over $99 at tigerfitness.com. Why even look at the other guys? And also, we ship from Vegas and Ohio. Most places in the US are a one to two day ship. And that's not a game.